Do I just keep doing it? It might be kind of fun to just keep doing it in different comps, but... This is actually Gold Elo. See, there it is. There's the person... Oh, I gotta press the button. Yep, yep, yep. Um, there's the person who's like, Ah, oh, but it's in Gold Elo. Blah, blah, blah. As if it wouldn't have worked in Challenger Elo. Uh, just for fun, there was a deleted message I'm going to read to you because it's hilarious. Doubles will laugh at this one. When I see you playing the game, I absolutely understand why it's in such a horrible state. Maybe get advice from people who understand the game and are maybe above platinum. I mean, in a hospital, I wouldn't want the sanitor to transplant my heart. Ah, uh, that's funny. You said there is a pool for item drops. Are pirates getting items from the same pool? Nope. Nope. Pirates generate items out of their own pool. And they're just out of nowhere. <laughs> Burning bright. I think Elon Musk has no clue about how a motor works. That I agree with. I mean, I mean, I mean, Mort has Riot in his back pocket. That is definitely not true. Um, if anyone, by the way, didn't get one of the reasons why I laugh at that so hard, is like I said, I am A, I'm master rank. B, uh, I am constantly talking to the challenger players about the state of the game. In fact, a bunch of them are in chat right now. Nature's BF is really good at the game. Doubles is really good at the game and good looking. Deseek is in here. Deseek is like what, rank one or two now. Can you enlighten us on spatula drops? Because now we understand for the rest of the items, but not for spat. Um, what do you want to know? I mean, so spatulas aren't part of their own pool. They can come from carousel or from a very low chance of your item pool or from the gold bonus orbs. Oh yeah, Snus is here. Which champion are you currently the most disappointed with? Ezreal? Definitely Ezreal. Definitely, definitely Ezreal. Definitely Ezreal. No. Definitely, definitely Ezreal. Why isn't Nature's a VIP? That is a great question. Can you elaborate on why you're disappointed with Ezreal? So Ezreal is like this really awkward state where he's really good utility if you can get him to cast. But if he casts, like he casts so late it usually doesn't matter. And half the time when he casts and he hits it's like it slows them a little but not enough. 
And because he has so much utility, he's not allowed to have much damage. So he's not exciting to put items on. So he just ends up in this really awkward, like... He enables a bunch of good traits. Like, he's good because he's got Chrono and Blaster. But you're never excited to be like, Oh, sweet, Ezreal! Which feels bad. Um, he was an attempt at a champion that, like, you would put in any comp. Um, like, you know, you're running some other comp and you're like, Oh, I need to slow down their spell casting. I'll put in Ezreal. Um, but it just didn't quite work out that way. Does Ezreal need lower mana costs? See, I don't... The TLDR of it is, I just don't think that spell was right for the game, but... It's hard to change a spell mid-set. Can't you do Mana Printer Lucian? The problem with Mana Printer Lucian is he moves around a bunch. But you know what? Just for fun. Just for funsies. Is it normal behavior for Aurelia to get stunned by Trap Claw but still deal damage? Uh, that is currently the intended behavior, but... We definitely agree it's a little inconsistent. Are you a Half-Life Saga fan? Not really. The music is very low, can't hear it if you don't want your voice to kill my ears. Okay, let me turn the music up a little. Hi Mort, how am I doing today? Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, the morning was a little bit of a rough start, but, you know. I think the item space could use some upgrades, especially with the Treasure Galaxy now. The items stack so hard it's difficult to find. I think that's fair. What do you think about Wukong? Unless he has 3 star, he doesn't do any damage. He's not supposed to be a damage dealer. He's supposed to be a frontliner and CC like Cho'Gath. He applies a very large stun to many units. So, that being said, we're improving his AI next patch, so that should help a little. Do you think the current issue with Mana Printer uh, being so prevalent lies with units with low mana cost or Chalice itself? Chalice itself, by far. Like, it's not even close. It's definitely Chalice itself. <laughs> You can still delete items by selling all your units with items, right? No, it can't. It won't let you. Wukong is supposed to be like Nar, kind of. Yeah, you, it natures, if you try to sell your unit when that happens, the message just comes up and says, you can't sell. You would accidentally delete a unit. Which is better, early lose streak or win streak? I mean, win streak if you can. Did I see Scar's new AFK mech comp? I didn't see it, no. Are standalone demo units good now after the buffs? No, I don't think Demolitionist is in a good spot. Any chance of making camera more free mode so it's not fixed on boards? No. Sadly, there are implications there that we can't allow. Oh, uh, it's just like 
a lot of the art is set up to look at it just like this. So, for example, if you could move the camera, you'd see things on the art you're not supposed to. When does the set end? Not for a while. Have you seen that the new TFT maps allow you to move slightly more to the bottom right? Uh, very, very slightly, not enough to matter. Why doesn't Rebel increase stats when combat starts? It does? Can you just nerf this one cost three star shit? Oh god. New thing I'm not used to playing. Please nerf. When will spectator mode come? Not in the next month. Will there be spectate mode for TFT? Yes. If so, when? Not in the next month. Are the pool of items and champs in any location of the map? Is that why? No. No, no, no. Nothing like that. Is it possible to monolock Poppy so she doesn't infinite shield? Yes, it is possible. We do not think we need to make that change yet. Are we any closer to being able to skip over people who have died in the game while scouting? Unfortunately, not yet. Do you think a healthy change to Demo Spat is if it's single target spell? Eh. At this point, I just think Demo Spat was a mistake. It has limited what we can do to the actually demolitionists because of the other cases. What are your thoughts about having Cyber and having bonuses locked behind unit requirements? Uh, I mean, having bonuses locked behind unit requirements is fine. Uh, Cyber in particular, though, is certainly very... You have to play a specific way to try to get Echo, and man, does it feel bad when you don't get Echo. Uh, I think it's just another sign that like having a 6-piece require a 5-cost is probably just not the right call. What is my favorite band? I don't really have a favorite band. I don't really listen to music that much. If I had to pick one, I would go back to when I was 16 and I loved the hell out of Metallica or Dragon Force. But... Riot seems to have feedback issues with community and making the community feel like it matters. How would you go about changing that? Uh, I don't think that's true, and I think it's also impossible to change, because when there's a million people giving feedback, unless we literally agree with all a million, they feel like their opinion doesn't matter. Their opinions definitely matter. I listen to every piece of feedback thrown my way, but at some point it becomes unrealistic to take it all in. Oh, sadly I'm going to have to sell this Cho'Gath. If you could meet one meal a day for the rest of your life, what would it be? Steak, baked potatoes, and broccoli. Who wins the most in the Challenger Discord? Who wines the most in the Challenger Discord? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't answer that. It will show my bias. There are certainly Challengers that are uh, very vocal in their complaints. Nah, Saint doesn't say a word. Saint's, ac Saint's actually very quiet in that Discord. I'll take the bait. Who whines the most in the Challenger Discord? Oh, it's a Mort must answer question. Oh, God. Alright, fine. Milk. It's fucking milk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Wait, if Mort must answer, then can he answer if this is PBE or not? <laughs> You're killing me, stop! I mean, this is definitely not PBE. There, I'll answer it. This is live. How's my morning going? It's mixed. We're having some fun games and some silly chat, so. Is God real? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. And I don't think I'm smart enough to know the answer. So actually, I like if people ask if I'm an atheist or not, I'm like, eh, I don't really know. Hmm. Wait, if Mort must answer, are we getting a practice tool soon? I mean, I can answer that. No, you're not getting a practice tool soon. I've been really clear on that one. Quick question, Poppy seems underpowered. When is the B-patch coming? <laughs> the B-patch to buff Poppy? It's not April 1st, yo. It's not April 1st. Why no practice tool? Uh, because we've been pretty clear that like what people would do to use a practice tool is the first thing they would do is make all the three star five costs and they would go, wow, this is really cool. And then they'd never try to get it in game and it would f not feel as exciting when they did it. So, oh, I just noticed 500 bits. I thought it was Jay Shrit following up on my bet. No, uh, I would say Jay Shrit is definitely the most vocal publicly. Uh, is there currently consideration for getting patch notes on the mobile client? Um, maybe? I don't know. Wait, if Mort must answer a question, can you answer an unanswerable question? I cannot. I like to use the term non-religious as it simply states a lack of interest in religion. Yeah, that's fair. Three star five cost, man, I want to do a Ken K Malfoy. Yeah, I mean, and that's sort of the point, right? Like, if you can just log into a practice tool and do all these things then the game becomes less fun to try to make them happen in the game. One of the things that makes this game exciting is like trying to make these things happen in game. Schrodinger's Mort, nice. Uh, would changing Chalice to affect other units rather than all units in the area be a good way to balance it? No. Uh, I think that just moves the problem and people will position around that. I have an idea for Chalice. I need to get the team on board with it, but I think there is a way to balance to balance that. Okay, we need to hit the Velkaz. I mean, the challenge right now is we're still running a one-star Velkaz. We still don't quite have the right mana printer. And we don't have the items on Velkaz to make him, like, do actually do damage here. So we're still going to lose for a bit. Uh, how did you get into Master? By playing lots of different builds and having a good understanding of the game. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Uh, are any plans for more boards this set? The design of the new Starship board is so good. Uh, I think they are working on others. I'm not sure the exact time frame, though. Wait, if Mort must answer, announce something upcoming previously unannounced. No, that's when I usually refund your points. Cho in shop? Yeah, I know. Kind of wanted the Blitz, but...
Thoughts on Karma? She's so damn useless as an ult right now. I don't agree with that. Okay, in order, we'd want Tear, then Rod. And then Cloak. Yay! Alright, hopefully we get a tier or a, uh, a tier or a cloak. No, Karma's really good, especially if, like, using Karma in a Shredder build, for example, really good. Best and worst performing item right now. Uh, I'll tell you that GA is the most popular item, for sure. There we go. Got some damage. We'll chill now. The lack of rods is definitely going to kill us here, though. What is Shredder build? I.E. Last Whisper, 3 star Zaya. Um, don't sell the blitzes? Yeah, I know. It's fine. 2 star blitz isn't going to make or break this. Oh no, it's a poppy. Although it's only two stars, so. Haha. -ha. I think if Kale can be OP, then other champs are okay being OP too. Yeah. How good is two chrono? Two chrono is great. Is two chrono better than two sorcerer here? Probably not. Two sorcerer is probably better here. The Ezreal utility is probably worth it here, though. Uh, let's see. Carousel idea. All spat traits minus demo or everyone gets demo spat. No, see, we've talked about that one, and yeah, I think it just turns into whoever gets the demo spat or the infiltrator spat is happy and everyone else is sad. It's also it's also one of those galaxies that really forces your build, which we don't like. Any plans to allow players to stop units from combining? Nope. Two chronos is like a bow, not really good. I mean, it's a bow every four seconds. And bows are mana generation, so... Nice. Uh, I think Hearthstone Battlegrounds and early Underlords both made mistakes with forcing your builds. Yeah, I would agree with that. Rebel now is useful, yes. How come your Cho never miss? I guess I'm just lucky. How's Jinx doing after the buffs? Fine. Blaster Brawler is in a good spot. Jinx still has the same strength and weakness as she did. Can, you, can Taiwan server get into the world tournament qualifications? I don't know, unfortunately. I don't know the esports stuff. Is Mana Printer Stoner better than two Seras Death Cap Belkaz? Yes. I mean, I would rather have the Death Cap for sure, but... In fact, speak of the devil... <laughs> uh, okay. I'm pretty sure this is just spell crit. Oh wait, no, this is what this is. This is easy. What am I talking about? <gasps> da, da, da. We got some damage. Dun, da, da. Demo Velkaz? Nah. That Aurelia is scary. Rebel Spat Velkaz. Ooh, that's an idea. That's a really cool idea. I like that a lot, actually. Rebel Spat Velkaz, that's a fun idea. That's a sick idea. That's a really cool idea. I like this a lot. <laughs> uh, 
Balance pitch, instead of giving Yuner plus mana 10 mana, instead give 10% mana. Yes, okay, so Kai143. That is closer to what I'm thinking. 10% uh, is not the right number, but using a percentage of the mana cast as opposed to a flat number is probably the way I would do this. So you're on the right track. Oh my god, that poppy is so tanky. Because, yeah, I think doing a percentage would actually open up some really interesting builds where, like, this is a, a really gross exaggeration, but I want you to imagine, let's say Chalice was 20% of your mana is given to nearby allies. Uh, Wizard Waz, thank you for the uh, sub, by the way. Uh, you put three Chalices on Blitzcrank, Blitzcrank instantly casts and gives 70 mana to your whole team. It's like, that could be kind of cool. Would that not be OP with Star Guardian? It might be. And that's the thing. Star Guardian and Chalice interactions have been weird. Damn, I was really hoping for a Ceres or Chalice. So at this point, all we actually need is like Warmogs or Redemption. I mean, Redemption Cho is probably what we want. Yeah, two stars Cho. As a Riot employee, are you allowed to earn ladder points and qualify for Worlds? No. Nope. Definitely not. Because then there'd be a conflict of interest where it's like, he balanced the game around the way he plays. Which, no thank you. Uh, last unit to throw in is probably a Mystic. Probably a Lulu. So I think we just slow level and look for a Lulu. When are new champs traits coming? At the mid-season expansion. Does Last Whisper plus IE plus Jeweled Gauntlet work? Yes, it does. That's a lot of true damage. Three star Sona? Nah, not worth. I had a question regarding mech items. Is it intended that combined items do not take priority over components? Yes, that is intended. Would that make the mech too strong? Not necessarily too strong, but... When is mid-season expansion? Uh, your definition of soon is within the next month, so not within the next month. Why is 3-star Poppy so thick now? Because people have figured out ways to itemize and build around it. So, it's not like 3-star Poppy is tanky by himself. Is 6 Chrono a potential first place comp now? I don't think so. Within the next two months? That sounds... If that's soon, then yeah, it's soon. Oh, there's that scary Aurelia. That Aurelia is so scary. Oh, it killed our printer! There's a paper jam in the printer! No. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, that felt good. That's, uh, you know. What do you do about that? What do you do about that?
Uh, see, these are the moments that make this game hella fun. Ta-da! Come on, this is freaking funny. <laughs> what was the reason for going away from Yumi Sorks giving double mana this set? Uh, it was mostly confusing. Players didn't even realize it was a thing. So if we could avoid it, um, it was better to just avoid it. I mean, like, yeah, I should probably get rid of this for this. But this is hilarious. Like, all right, fine. We can wait a turn or two. Just play TF? I mean, you know, it's fine. Ooh, scary. Ooh, that interrupt, though. Oh, another interrupt. <clears throat> yeah, just so we're clear, it's Zaya and Poppy that need the nerf, right? Right? Just so we're clear. See, I'm like the sanitor that does the heart surgery at the hospital. Go three star Vel? Eh, we'll get there. We're fine. Please buff Sona. <laughs> no, we gotta buff Chalice. Chalice needs buffs. Oh god, it's that tanky poppy again. Oh, they did Zephyr our printer though. No! The poppy is dead! Oh wait, no it's not. Woo! Buff chalice? It, it was a joke, to be clear here. Actually, yeah, we probably can't roll down for Velkaz anyway, knowing that he has a bunch. We actually probably have to stop. Like, and just chill out for now. Um, I was going to say QSS would be ideal. There's no QSS. It's probably just Seraphs. Yeah, it's probably just Seraphs. <laughs> Laser printer? Oh, that is totally what is going on the, the, the title of the YouTube video. We are calling it Laser Printer. In fact, if this comp somehow becomes meta, everybody, that's the name. Laser Printer. Not Ink Printer? Ink Printer's not bad either, but no, this is definitely Laser Printer. Where does Team go? Did he have a team? Uh, at least Laser Printer describes the build better than Candyland. I agree with that. Did he have a team? I didn't notice it. Unfortunately, the last person left is the person with the Velkaz, so we're not hitting Velkaz 3. Uh, I could roll for Xerus, I guess. I don't really care. Oh, Blitzcrank. We never hit 2-star Blitzcrank. 
Uh, alright, fuck it. I was gonna see if we get a Cho'Gath, but... Nope. Okay, it looks like I have to move my mana printer because he's zephyring my mana printer. Or I could just win, I guess. Ah, easy cheesy. Uh, I demand it be called Dot Matrix so most players don't understand what it means. Nice. What does the balance team think of the current state with Blaster Brawlers being so dominant? Is it fine or needing adjustments? Uh, so the way I would describe it is like, B Blaster Brawler is like 5% better than every other comp. So it's within reason. Uh, the trick is going to be finding a way to bring it down in like that 5%. Because like, as we know, our systems are all very fragile. So it would have to be a very delicate touch. Mort roll sounds like more troll if you say it too fast. More troll. Yeah, it does. You're right. I mean, at this point, I don't really care what we get, do I? Haha! So, pretty sure that's a first. GG! We had like, what, 60 gold and a Nico left over? GG.